Okay, now I just want to show you an example of the brioche purl stitch. Just so that you remember that it's an actual stitch. It's not a purl stitch, it's a brioche purl stitch. So we'll do a slip one yarn over. And then here is your brioche purl. And it's a brioche purl because here the actual stitch is a purl stitch and it has a yarn over with it and it usually crosses somewhere. Mine tend to cross in the back, some cross on top, some cross in front. It doesn't make any difference as long as it is facing or I should say leaning to the left. So brioche purl, you purl the stitch with its yarn over. Yarn's already in front. Slip one, yarn over the top of the needle, and then this is a brioche purl. Okay. Okay. And so the brioche purl on the material looks pretty cool, I think. That's what makes it so nice and fluffy, I think. So here is the brioche knits that I did, and here are the brioche, brioche pearls that I did. And you can see the brioche pearls have two colors to their pearl bump. That's how you know you've done it right. Okay? All right. I'll finish out the row.